In today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to swap out an alternator. I'm gonna be doing it on my 85 Supra. Okay, the first step in this job is undoing the negative terminal on the battery. The second step would be undoing the electronics on the alternator. There's one plug there and there's the ground. Luckily enough, I've done this so many times before, I know it is a 10 millimeter. I really don't feel like jacking up the car, so I'm gonna remove the air intake and take the alternator out from the top. There's only two bolts to hold it in. It's that bottom bolt right there. And there is a tensioner bracket that holds it up right there. All these are our 10 millimeter bolts, and I'm just gonna buzz them out and then take the tube off. So when doing this, make sure you unplug your math, then wiggle the intake tube right off. There we go. I'm also gonna take the dipstick off, just so I do not bend it. Um, it is a bolt and a nut, so I'm gonna put a wrench on one side and use the ratchet on the other. So I just took the nut off, so whenever I am ready to take the alternator off, I'm just gonna push that bolt through and the alternator should fall, then I take it right out. Now I'm about to take the tensioner bolt off and then the alternator should come right out after I knock that bottom bolt out. Now there is the tensioner bolt. Yep. Since I've replaced this alternator before, I have a warranty on it, so all I have to do is exchange this old alternator for the new one. So this is my replacement alternator. I'm gonna change the serpentine belt real quick, then I'll install that last. The first thing I have to do to take the serpentine belt off is loosen the tensioner on the power steering and take the fan clutch off. So I just took off my fan clutch. I'm not taking it out because of the fan shroud's in the way. I'm just tucking it to the uh, right a little bit, so I have room to take the pulleys off just to replace the serpentine belt. Okay, so I have an AC issue, so I'm not currently running an AC belt. If you were running an AC belt, you'd have to undo the AC tensioner and take the AC belt off to get to the serpentine belt. So here's the old serpentine belt. You can just tell it's worn out and it's super cheap to replace. It's kind of a basic maintenance thing. I think my new belt was probably like $5. Okay, I'm gonna show you the comparison of my old serpentine belt that is on the right to the new one that is on the left. It is always recommended to replace this belt whenever you're doing this job. It's just so you don't run into issues down the road. I'm installing the new serpentine belt. Now I'm putting it around the crank pulley. I don't really need a diagram for this considering I've done this so many times. If you do need a belt diagram for your car, all you gotta do is look up the year making model on Google and you should find a diagram. Whenever you are doing any job on your car, make sure you don't end up with extra bolts. That's the last thing you want. Just remember, whenever you are tightening your serpentine belts, just make sure you don't tighten them too much. Before I install the alternator, this is the alternator tensioner. So I'm gonna loosen up this bolt right here. Couple twists, just so this bracket right here that mounts to the alternator has leeway to move back and forth. So all I have to do here is plug my harness in and make sure I have a good ground. I'm finishing tightening up this ground, and then I should be all good to go to put the intake on, then test out the car. Intake's back on, alternator's all plugged in, ready to go. Belts are in line, all the bolts are on the fan clutcher's height. Time to reconnect the battery. Now I'm going to clean up all my tools and end this video here. If you like what you've seen, like and subscribe, leave a comment below. I'm going to do more videos like this down the road. Hopefully I won't do another alternator video.